This story gets a whole lot of buzz. California lawmakers are now considering a bill that would make a standard work week 32 hours a week instead of 40. And if it becomes applied, anything could be happening to us in a heartbeat. 500 employees are at the CBS Broadcast Center. Wow. I did not know that, but I did tell you now. But to be honest, though, it is what it is. Let's go to my Aunt Elise Preston about this news story. Go ahead, Aunt Elise. Having an extra day off gives her more quality time with her stepson. And so instead of me coming back here and sitting down and working, I was able to actually come back, watch a movie, spend time with him, and like give him the attention and love that he really wanted. Kickstarter is part of a pilot program with dozens of other companies testing this new model for six months. Joe O'Connor is CEO of Four Day Week Global, which is running the program. Their research has shown 78% of employees with a shorter week are happier and less stressed. And 63% of businesses find it easier to attract and retain talent. It's had an enormous transformative impact on people's lives in terms of improved well-being, improved work-life balance, reduced stress and reduced burnout. A Denver company that adopted a four-day work week saw productivity stay the same. And that's what leaders at Kickstarter are expecting. People think that productivity is a function of just power sort, and it really isn't. Um, it matters how focused people are, how engaged they are at work. What are you hoping happens after this six-month pilot? Do you want it to stick around? Do you want it to go back to a five-day work week? That's a great question. <laughs> I think we know the answer. I gotta ask. Uh, we, we definitely want it to stay around. Patton is far from alone. In a survey from Qualtronics, 92% of workers support the idea of moving to a four-day work week. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. Wow. That news story was inspiring, but I'm not surprised. Thank you, Aunt Elise. Five days and working 40 hours Makes me happier than a June bug at a Porsche light sale. We'll turn it now to your forecast right now here on this Monday afternoon as it is 20 minutes to 12 o'clock. Larissa has a warm up, then she's tracking showers for Tuesday, mainly in the afternoon, among others to choose from. Go ahead and take it away, Larissa. The only mild reading on the board, 61 degrees. It's 59 right here in Philly, 55 in Trenton, 55 in Allentown. These cooler temperatures uh, across the region are in New York. See here as the day goes on, we'll stay in the 60s, and then once we lose the heating of the day, those temperatures do come down to 56 degrees as we approach the overnight hours. We are going to see some patchy fog develop, which could be dense in some spots. That's something we're going to be watching closely for you, especially uh, tomorrow morning. Otherwise, it's going to be cloudy and mild with temperatures right at 56 and winds out of the southeast coming in at 10 miles an hour. Here's our next weather maker. It may not look like much but it is generating a few claps of thunder over Ohio. A severe weather, a severe thunderstorm warning also in effect across parts of Ohio. All of this is going to be heading our way, and this will generate just showers. No severe weather expected for us, but I'm not completely ruling out the chance of a pop-up thunderstorm. So take a look here. Future weather shows by 2 o'clock will have those showers across our western neighborhoods. By 6.30 in the evening, it's widespread rain, some pockets of steadier rain, certainly not out of the question and maybe even a few isolated rumbles of thunder as we move the clock forward here shortly after midnight you can see a lot of this is already beginning to taper off and as we wake up to start off our wednesday it will be drier but boy is it going to be a whole lot cooler and we're calling it a late april chill in fact the cooler temperatures will stick around at least through friday a sharp temperature drop from what's expected tuesday through wednesday and we're talking 50s back in the forecast with blood 
blustery winds. Take a look at the next three days. We go from 73 degrees to tomorrow to just 56 by Wednesday. And with that, we'll be right back. All right. Thank you, Larissa. Our final headline is coming up next. Better stay put. We'll be right back. 